This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comments section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. So again, when you start, you need to play. Uh, gently touching the key, not forcing any sound, any touch, and not keeping any tension while playing. Especially after you press the key, you should let go of the tension right away. Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud only notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. Internally sing with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight.
such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. And again in this video I'm going to separate intonation and weight from articulations. Articulations are the variant of intonation, where the principle of singing internally in between notes with a glissando resistance remains the same. In every type of articulations, the first part of the interval is sung with resistance, but the second part is varied. In staccato, extremely accelerate the speed. <laughs> In tenuta, move fully down with weight. In accents, mix staccato and tenuta, bring speed and weight at the same time. Now these accents that are written by Chopin, actually, in the score, they are not necessarily accents. Most of the time he just wrote it for their students, maybe to voice some melody, maybe to emphasize the weak finger, like in other etudes, um, I'll talk about that. So. I'm not really going to make a full accent in this case, but maybe a just slight sharp touch with my intonation. Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Now 
Let's play again, starting from motifs. You know, when I'm playing this etude, it's like an instant boost of the mood <laughs> when you play it really with, with the accents <laughs> and at least staccato. And <laughs> okay, I feel better. I've been, I mean, I'm a little bit sleepy today. <clears throat> so, now let's go by phrases. Time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music, it's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece, and if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful, not just faster, but lively and exciting, not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. So I'm choosing the pulse by half of the bar and let's start with a chill, relaxed tempo. She lovely eats it, oh my god. I'm tempted to really um, practice it and record the whole piece. Okay, um, let's go a little bit faster. stable and secure in this turn when I'm jumping to my fourth finger because no fourth finger is not the best one to jump on <laughs> so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use first um, musical speech in my intonation ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately that helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals.
So I'm going to intonate um, this feel more intense down. That will let my finger pre feel much faster. And second thing, I would probably improve the movement in my elbow over here because maybe my elbow is not fast enough as well. So I'm going to pay attention to these two things, my elbow and this interval with fifth. And the same thing is happening here, so I'm going to do the same thing. Move better elbow and intonate. Feel down much better. So let's practice a little bit. slow So then I Let's play with intonation and weight, and let's include articulations right away. Thank you. 